Get ready. We're going viral. Turn it up a bit. Get a ready. Lot. We're going viral. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another installment of the Viral Podcast. I'm your host, Chelsea Lynn. And I'm your host, Paige Jen. And today is... What is today? Chelsea's birthday! birthday. Let's beer, go! Beer, beer. Happy birthday, honeys. Happy birthday. Thanks, honeys. Well, it's tomorrow, but you know. Um, hey, honeys, 37 here. No, bitch. All 36? Uh huh. Brett told me I in the store, I said, she's 36, and he goes, no, 37. I thought you said you were uh, 36 the other day when we counted the lines in your butthole. <laughs> you probably did. <laughs> you probably fucking did. Wait, well, so how old are you then? 36 for real? I think so. Whoa. I think I'm 36. Yeah. Yeah, 36. Which is, wild, which is wild to say. I don't even feel 26, but welcome back to the podcast, Brett. Oh, thanks. Thanks for having me. And, um, well, I thought it's my birthday week. It's my birthday episode, so we'll bring you back. Oh, thanks. Mm-hmm. And um, Just to make our blood boil. Yeah, we want our, we want our blood to boil mm-hmm. and be hyped, so we thought we'd have you back. Uh-huh. Do you thanks. have anything you like to do on your birthday? Like, do you make any wishes? Do you have a goal for yourself? Is it a big deal for you at all? No. <laughs> It's not. Okay. I could care less. Yeah. I I usually don't do anything, and that's it. It's fun to get some acknowledgement, I guess. Just say a happy birthday. I mean, if people people tell me happy birthday, that's cool. But, like, I don't want gifts. Oh, no. You know, if we usually, if we go out to a dinner or something, that's fine. But I'm, I really don't care. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, we got you a couple things. So just talk amongst your mic. Okay. Hello, how are you guys doing over there? Good. Stupendous. It's Brett's first time in this new studio. How you feeling, Brett? Oh, I love it. The lights, camera, the action. Okay. Yeah. And uh, let's see what else. Uh, what's going on? I'm over excited there? to do a trivial. Yeah. Happy. Th- hey, Brett. <laughs> Sir. Brett. Dude, he will ruin any occasion. Hey, Brett, let Paige do it. Okay. Okay. So. Whoa! What's that? <clears throat> It's called cake. <laughs> so, cake, cake. No, this is called the Chantilly cake. It has Tilly in it. Tilly yeah. for mama. Did y'all go to Whole Foods for that? Um, No, because I, I was going to go to Whole Foods, but then there was a, date, a debate on is Publix Chantilly cake better ooh. or Whole Foods? So I was like, let's try it yeah. for Chelsea's birthday. For my birthday. And that's a malt licking and icky right there. What does yeah. that mean? <laughs> for this it's gonna be Does sliding it look good out or no oh it's gonna be good okay because yeah. i wasn't sure if you liked fruits you're more of a chocolate gal but <laughs> um uh yeah hmm. i don't know if i'd say that if i'd pick chocolate over fruit well chocolate over vanilla yeah but these are vanilla yeah. so no this looks great it, it even says happy birthday chelsea if you are listening and not watching it's a white cake and somebody just farted. No, that's the little plastics. Dude, I feel like 4th of July fireworks. <laughs> it's a white cake with some strawberries and blueberries and raspberries on top. It's very beautiful. And she's got another cake over there. What's that? I get two cakes? Oh, it's on a dish. What? On a little platter. Oh, so I so I see what's going on. Don't let it slide. I see what's going on. I didn't get a cake last year. So now y'all so do- you get two. doubled up on two. What Look at how say? creamy that looks. Creamy. It says creamy. Here you go. You can open the card. And a card? The mm-hmm. card says... <laughs> <laughs> the card says Chelsea. Because I say Chelsea. Chelsea. Yeah. Huh? You want me open it right now? Not even meaning to say Chelsea. So now we all just go Chelsea. Okay. Chelsea. <laughs> I'm opening the card that says Chelsea. Okay. Oh, this is a... You spent money on this card. Cards are fucking expensive. It doesn't matter. Any fucking card, a basic one, whatever... Four to fucking eight dollars your uh-huh. average. How much Wild. was this one? It says I think on the back of cards. Well, let me look. Doesn't say. Oh, it was eight dollars. Damn! It says Hallmark. It's three oh. D. Look at how those papers falling out. Don't let those scatter too far because you're gonna need them. Okay, there was a paper that fell. Okay, now opening the card. Mm-hmm. Oh God, what's <laughs> it says? Hey, honey, it's thirty seven here. Brett, good one, Brett. <clears throat> Frank. Let's see what this says. 
do these papers open up? You want me to read this out loud? Oh, gosh. You want to know what's fucking worse? What? Got you candles that say 37. <laughs> 37. Well, hey. well, save those for next year. <laughs> Let's put them behind our, on our shelves yeah. for all next year. Okay. Dude, I was so confident it. you were 36. You, you could have Googled it. The other day. You could have Googled it, Brad. Or maybe asked me. I did. I think. You didn't. You didn't. I think I have footage. I'll find it. <laughs> you don't. If okay. we find that footage, we will post it on yeah. the Instagram. Okay. Let me read this. <clears throat> love you honeys hey honeys 37 here what a perfect time to tell you that you have to eat by ass how much you mean <laughs> here are nine crumbles of paper with some top steakhouses in nashville you can only choose one crumble and that's where you will be humbled. Oh, hi. When I wrote that. <laughs> Whichever day you desire. Paige, Jen. Paige, this is so nice. But that can be from all of us. Like, we could all go out and yeah. just take care of you. Oh, do I get to pick right now? A crumble? Yep, but you can only open one. What if it's it's probably one you've already been to? That's okay. You ready? Sizzler. What sizzlers? What if you put like it says chilies? I'm I'm, I'm chilies in there. I Ready? was gonna do one like that, but I was like, huh? It, nah. I, that's the one I'd pick. Got a traitor. Jeff Ruby's. Woohoo! You would. I fucking had a feeling the whole time too. Uh-huh. You would pick Jeff Ruby's. My our favorite. Okay, our favorite. We're Go going on. to Jeff Ruby's, baby. Go to Jeff Ruby's. Okay, <sighs> got to make those reservations. Yep. Thank Have you. Ever you been to Black Angus? Tell me when you can go. What, Brett, Brett, Black, Black Angus. Angus. Brett, we're, come on, man. We're having a I've good moment. I've always wanted to eat there. No, man. We were having a great moment, Sorry. and Brett brings up Black Angus. <laughs> that will ruin anybody's <laughs> I think day. it's a funny name. Oh, um, Thanks, it honey. Is. That's so nice. That was definitely funny, like, growing up. But now, I mean, when you're yeah, in your 40s and shit, Black Angus isn't yeah. that funny anymore. <laughs> it's just a fucking food place. Whoa. Okay. <sighs> putting in the candles. If you're still listening. Um, She's putting in candles right now on my cake. Mm-hmm. And... What's What's the funnest birthday party you've ever had? Have I ever had a birthday party? I don't know. I don't think I have, honey. Growing up, nothing. We We, never got birthday parties. We, I had, I had one birthday party once. Um, and I talk about it in my stand up. But me and my cousin had to share. It was at McDonald's. Mm. Mm -hmm. We shared a birthday. It was really her birthday. Yeah, you were. And I was the same birthday month, so they just took me along and said, "Oh, it's your birthday too." But I knew it was hers. Yeah. (laughs) Stop. I'm serious. <clears throat> Did you feel like I was like six and I knew what was going on? Like I'm not stupid. Yeah, they fucking were just trying well, to save money. Are imaginary. Um, that's the kicker, Beth. Did you bring over a lighter? Here comes Beth. She's running around the corner. She's running around the corner. Oh, I think we should be lighting these for you. Is that like etiquette? But oh, I don't uh, know. Come on, Brett. Brett. I'm kind of locked in. Oh, okay, I, Brett's I, locked I, in. Okay. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I couldn't do this earlier because it had to stay in the fridge. So the candles, it's going to be smoky in here. Mm-hmm. All right, you just start lighting it because we are on a podcast right now. Yeah, we're literally live on a podcast right now. Here we go. I'm lighting the oh, first yeah. candle. Those candles are cute. These are cute. That's pretty smart to light it like that first. Well, that's just what you're supposed to do, Brad. No, it's a good job. Thank you. Hold on. Everybody bear with me. It's not lighting. It's lighting. Malt, it's, it's being a malt leaky and that icky. Malt lighty. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. All right. All right. Hold up. Ooh, I'm thinking about what I'm getting to Jeff Ruby's. I'm going to get me a, uh, I'm going to get me a uh, shrimp cocktail. A filet. Then get me a filet. Damn. You didn't know what she's getting into when you got <laughs> into a steakhouse, did you? Get a malt licky. <clears throat> Do I have a budget? A limit? Oh, no, dude. The sky's the limit. Good thing for you. I don't drink, so there's not, not going to be an alcohol bill. That's true. Thank I just, you. I just like to order four appetizers. You do like four appetizers, all the extra sauce, extra tartar, extra cocktail, extra rad, horseradish shit. Let me take a picture of this, right? Okay. Right. <clears throat> Get out. Well, let me take a photo of you. Here we go. <clears throat> ready? So, yeah. Okay. okay. Are you guys ready? Ready? 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear child. He kept his blue Happy shorts. Happy birthday to you. Woo! That was pretty. You have two more surprises. Oh. Reach down in there and grab those bags. <gasps> when, have those bags been there the whole time? Yes, ma'am. Bags make her dance. <laughs> I didn't even realize that because I had been sitting here for a while. Okay, open one at a time. Bag is matter. sneaky, yeah. dude. All right, that's a bag. That stuff earlier is from me and Paige. Is it? Brett, I've done that Brett. honestly for our entire relationship. I don't fucking put your name anymore. Yeah, I didn't this even know. On her. I didn't even know about the card thing. She did that on her own. Brett, right? don't act like you're going half. She's at Jeff Ruby's. She's paying for it all. Come on, man. Come all on, right. sit back. Oh yeah, lean yeah. back, Dutch wall. Yeah, that's from her. <laughs> No, thank you. <laughs> All right. It's an orange bag with some, uh, uh, what's it called? Wrapping paper. Yeah, tissue paper. paper. Yeah, but it's, yeah. it's very uh, Golden Girls. Okay, so there's tissue paper. Let's keep that for later. Okay. I wonder what this is. Do you guys save, like, tissue paper in bags when you go to parties? Or at your own party? No, but these are nice, so I may keep these. I used to, Ooh, but Malik I never. Oh, my <gasps> Whoa. We love those. I love those. It's a, what's it called? It's one of those things that you they put They used to your, have them at Spencer's. You put your hand in. Oh, God. How do you explain what this is? You put your hand in and you can form your hand. Like all these little Beads. things will fall down on your hand. You can do like an imprint. So you can do like your titty, your face. You know what I'm talking about? I used to put my face in it <laughs> all the time. Just walk into oh. the store. Everyone's touched it. Go put your fucking face uh -huh. right mm -hmm. on it. This is cool. That's all how right. you get that malt icky. Thank you for that malt leaky and that icky. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> Got one more bag there. Okay. Oh. Opening the second bag. All right. Here we go. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I'll spend some money on that wrapping. Oh, oh really? what is this? Oh. That's yeah. cute. Yes, what she get? What she always An needs. An iPad? A nice. Where'd you get this at, Beth? A nice note, uh, notepad, notebook. And some nice pens. Now that's what I yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Nice pens are you always need a nice pen. Always. And they're never around. <sighs> Chelsea's always writing things down. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. a I'm a notebook, notepad. Yes. Yep. I'm a note jotter and a sticky a malt a malt sticky note writer. You are a malt sticky. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, Thank y'all so much. You're welcome. Happy birthday to you. Are we eating a piece of cake right now? We don't have to, but I don't want any right now. You good? I'm good. I'm I'll, good. Okay. I get all like. Get, yeah, it'll be ASMR. Yeah, Ew, pe damn. people will get mad. Yeah, let's wait. Let's have a piece after. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. When we were at King Spa, me, you, and Maggie, and we were farting. Yeah. Um, before my fart, I think my pussy made that noise. The. Ew. And and you didn't hear it, or maybe you did, but you didn't say anything. And I was just thinking, damn, I wonder if Chelsea heard that. If Sam. I heard it, I would have said something. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> I would have been like, that's a malt leaky, that eeky. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. So. Oh, man. There's that. Well, thank y'all. What a wonderful little birthday. I appreciate this. Oh, no problem. You this deserve, is really. You deserve the world. Thank you. That's really nice of everybody. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate that. All right. Now that we've celebrated our birthday, should we get into the pod? Yeah. Let's um celebrate a rock fucker. Yes. Well, hold on. First oh. off, welcome back from the break everybody oh yeah thank you for sticking <laughs> around back. and coming back thank y'all we had a little break and uh we're back and thank y'all for coming back and, and helping us take over the world um mm -hmm. we appreciate you guys and we love you guys one um, click at a time yeah couple I've, I've been seeing some comments i did want to address this i've been seeing a couple comments on social media about these two subjects and i just want to clear clear a little bit of air because there seems to be some confusion i've seen some comments from people being like oh Beth doesn't ever talk on the podcast. Why doesn't she ever talk? Um, so Beth, uh, that's Beth doesn't talk on the podcast because she is currently live editing as we speak. So Beth works behind the scenes. Yeah, she's clicking and clacking her fingers back there, just switching cameras from person to person. So it's kind of hard to talk and yeah. focus on other shit. 
she does the technical stuff for the pod. She does all the, you know, all the technical, the editing, the getting everything set up for us. So she's not in on the forefront of the pods. Does that make sense? And she finds the trivial questions. She and does. Stuff. Yes, she does all that. So people, and I guess, I don't know if you've ever, if we've ever even said that. So I, I can see where people assume that she's on the pod. She'll peek in every now and again and say something, but oh, she's yeah. behind the scenes on the pod. Um, something else I've seen on social media, a lot of comments, people assume that the podcast is just on YouTube for some reason. Yeah, they do think that. It's really weird. Um, it No, it is also on Spotify, Apple, wherever you listen to podcasts we're on there Mm -hmm. for the most part most of the major ones um so so if you ever see comments like that and want to help us take over the world say hey yeah they're on every platform yeah matter of fact i would say 90 percent of our views or listens come from audio only Mm -hmm. youtube is our smallest people you know most people don't watch the youtube it's mostly all audio so people just driving yeah, just driving. That's where I listen to most of, well, I guess at nighttime I play uh, mm-hmm. crime all night. Murder. Murder just helps me sleep, yeah. dude. Sleep on them. Okay. Well, yeah, now should we announce Rock Fucker of the Week? Mm-hmm. Rock Fucker of the Week, we pick once a week. Anyone that, you know, comments, shares, tags, our social medias, we pick one person a week and you will get a free um, a t-shirt exclusive from our merch t-shirt rock fucker of the week is jenny ho jenny ho bow, bow, bow. maggie will be reaching out getting your address and t-shirt size honeys thank you for helping us take over the world was her last name hole 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 h-u-l-l oh H-U-L-L. you got excited uh-huh hole if your last name was hole yeah okay a hockey um, player brett hole we well, Brad, I was going to tell you oh, to, to lean forward, but now I'm going to tell you to go ahead and lean back. Um, <laughs> and then lean forward again. And then go ahead and lean forward again. Go ahead, my man. Oh, thanks. Here we go. I just wanted to talk about some examples of positive gaslighting. Um, like advertising, you know, that's kind of a positive thing. But uh, also another way is, let's say you uh, buy a couch and it's not the color of the couch you want and you put it together and then you call back the company and you say, hey, I got the wrong couch. And like, oh, we can actually send you out the correct couch with the correct color, but it's going to cost you, give it to you 50% off. And they're like, oh, I don't want to do that. And they're like, okay, 25. No, that's not good. Then, you know, you can get a couch for free, basically. So you get two couches for the price of one just because, you know, you lied about your uh, boyfriend putting it together because you were at work. Um, so, yeah, that's an example. Um, pressure Luck, I was watching that the other day, and this guy won like a quarter minute. Breath is your dad. Time's Whoa. up. Please Damn, down. bro. I never knew a minute could be so fucking long. Brett, yeah. Advertising is not a positive gaslight. Advertising is advertisement. Yeah. Well, it's positive for you because you're getting them to buy. You know. Hey, guess which, what? Whatever you're advertising. Big corporate companies. I could give a fuck less if I rip them off. <laughs> yeah. To yeah. be honest. Yeah. Well, that's true. I mean, if it's some um, a mom and pop shop. If it's a mom and pop shop, I will give extra. Yeah. I'll even maybe suck you off. Yeah. But sorry, Brett. Yeah. Yeah. They sent me the wrong couch. Oh, I didn't say it was you oh. though. You you hated on yourself. Oh yeah. Paige got <laughs> sent the wrong couch and, and they sent me the wrong color of it. the couch and then they were like I guess Oh, they, they said, Oh, sorry. We can just give you twenty percent off yeah. or something. Like we'll refund you twenty percent. And I oh, said hell no. And I was like, Hell no. Oh hell no. Oh, oh. And then I um, told them that I'm not doing it. So good. That yeah. was pretty much it. And you got to keep the other couch. Yeah. Good. Because they didn't want me to send that back. What are they going to do with it? So now I have two couches that are the exact same, but two different colors. That's great. I think that's wonderful. Positive gaslighting. 
What would you do if you they just offered? If she was 20? honest, she wouldn't have got a free couch. That's not a gaslight, though. Yeah, it is. She <laughs> she manipulated them. No, she told them, "Hey, I got the wrong order," and they uh-huh. made it right by sending her the right one. That's not well, a she said manipulation. That her boyfriend put it together while she was at work, so we can't. No, that was send what I leaned into. I said, "Hey, yeah. I wasn't there when um, it was taken out of the box, and my yeah. boyfriend didn't know it was supposed to be brown, mm-hmm. but it's black, and I didn't want that color. Um, what can you do?" Oh, we can offer twenty percent. So mm-hmm. then that's yeah. when well, they I said, said fifty no. at first. And, and there's twenty, all, then fifty. Yeah. But there's Threatling. also a difference between a gaslight and a lie. <laughs> <laughs> well, she lied. Yeah, that's gaslighting. Oh, <laughs> okay. Anyway, Brett, lean back, my man. There's a lot of different forms. So okay. I'm to say. All right. You know what we haven't done in a while. Yeah. What? What's the deal for the day, honey? Oh, oh we'll tell you. What's the deal for today, honey? Oh, what's the deal for today, honey? Let's tell you. I got a good one. <clears throat> it's from a guy named Tyler. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and say his last name because it's very common. Tyler Johnson. Oh, gosh. Okay. And he, April 14th, messaged me and said, Do you like your feet rubbed? <laughs> and then May 5th, he said, Nice feet. And then June 30th, he said, do y'all like y'all's feet rubbed? And then yesterday he said, hey, I'm trying to talk to you. <laughs> Stop. He wants to know about those feet. Dude, we need a fucking sign that says, do y'all's like y'all's feet rubbed? We need to get him on the podcast is what we need to do. Uh, yeah. So, Book guy? Yeah, exactly. You do love your feet rubbed, though, so he, maybe yeah. he could sense he that. he would do it good, too. He mm. sense them souls. I need it done good. Go ahead, Shotty. Is he gonna rub them for you? Say no. why? Say why you're gonna rub them for me? What if he rubbed them while you filmed the pod? <laughs> oh. Get him here. Chelsea would be like harder. I know she'd be in heaven. <laughs> I know. I know. Hey, do you like a finger between the toes? Like a rub? Like a I'd say no. I'd I don't say no. like that. No. I love doing that. Okay, this guy Brandon said, "You look like Benjamin Norris." Mm-hmm. Who's that? I looked him up. Not good. <laughs> <laughs> kind of Jafar looking. Hold on, let me go look. What's yeah. Jafar? From Aladdin? No, I don't know that. I don't know nothing about that. Hmm. 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 He he's some popular guy. Nobody's heard of him. Benjamin Norris? No. Should I look him up right now? Yeah. Do you look I'm like looking. him or no? He's got a half million. Yeah, I would say I kinda do look like him. Benjamin Norris. Let me look right here. Pull it up, Brett. I've never heard of any of the movies. Putty Sticks. Mm. Sounds like a fun game. I can see that. He, he kind of looks like Jerry, which, you know, I can see that a little bit. Benjamin Norris. Cool. Mm. And while we're here, who started the sounds off in the comments? Sound Libby off. says that. Brett said you said it. I thought you said it first. You may have stole it from Libby. That, oh. Yeah, Libby, Libby says, says Good job, that. Libby. Libby says sound off in the comments. Why are people saying it now? Brett just at home, he'll be like, sound off in the in the comments when I'm talking, and I'm say, shut the fuck up. When you're yeah. in comment land. Oh, I just fingered the cake. Lick it. Mm. Mm, that's pretty good. Mm. All right. All right. Oh, Ooh, that cake is oh. good. Yes, yeah. ma'am. Okay, listen, we Sorry. know the first... We know the first part of this podcast has been really chaotic, but we're ready, we're ready to get into it now, so... If y'all have started from the from the front and you're still here, we love you. Thank you for helping us take over the world. Mm-hmm. Gosh, dude, I feel like I got that fucking malt leaky. Malt leaky. leaky. You're you're leaky. Ra- <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, y'all are dude. so dumb. Mine was not fucking trying to get out. Yours wasn't fucking going. stuff, daddy. <laughs> they tried to get me with. Uh, <laughs> I thought it would be more and loud. I thought tell, it was going to be a boom. Tell them what you just did. Since we, most of our listeners are audio. We let out some confetti we had planned. Thought it was going to sh- mm-hmm. fucking scare Chelsea. We thought it was going to be like, boom, and yeah. go everywhere. <laughs> I'm not in on anything. <laughs> that was the cue. When Paige looked at me and said, I got that malt licky, mm-hmm. we were supposed to do it. Mm-hmm. Well, we've said that a thousand times in the last 10 minutes. <laughs> <know. laughs> but we knew. threw me off. <laughs> All right. Oh, did you read your DM? Yeah, I oh, look okay. like Benjamin Norris. <laughs> let's, let's do a little bit of trivia. I'll hit it. 
hey honeys, me here. Sometimes I get stressed. I don't I don't get stressed a lot, you know, but sometimes I do. I've been planning my calendar. I've been planning Tammy Bangs. A lot goes into the planning process of a lot of what we do. Woo! Your girl be stressed. I've been stressed out a little bit, Paige. When we want to de-stress, we pop in a little CBD gummy that can really help. But we don't settle for just any CBD product. We settle for Next Evo. That's right, baby. A recent study showed that most CBD labels are way off. And some products only contain 60% of what they claim. And melatonin products can also be very inaccurate. And listen, that's not cool. If you're paying money, and especially if you're paying money and buying something, it needs to work. It needs to do what it says it's going to do. Next Evo Natural CBD delivers exactly what's on the label. Their products are tested before, during, and after they're made. You know what you're getting? It helps me sleep, dude. If I'm traveling or something and I forget them or whatever, like, I mean, yeah, I can still sleep, but I notice a big difference in the quality of sleep I get. I really enjoy the sleep gummies because I can fall asleep really, really quick, but I have a hard time actually staying asleep. These really just help me sleep on them. And the gummies are good. Stress CBD complex gummies are clinically proven to reduce stress up to 70% and no prescription needed. Triple action CBD sleep calms your mind with fast absorbing CBD. Plus, I don't wake up feeling all blah. I wake up feeling refreshed. Leave summer stress behind and upgrade your CBD. Go to nextevo.com slash viral to get 20% off your first order of $40 or more. More. That's 20% off $40 or more at N-E-X-T-E-V-O dot com slash viral. Damn, Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> Get it, Timmy. Hey, we got to start over. We got to okay, restart. Hold on. Because this keep threw oh, me off. One thing about the trivial, somebody wrote me a DM or something and said, Paige, my favorite Part is when you moan after Chelsea goes, oh, fuck me. Please make your moan louder. Okay, make Damn, it moan louder. Dude. Make it louder. Yeah. They're really counting on this part. And hold on. We got something new. Whoa. Y'all ready? Death <gasps> Goddess buzzers. Buzzer buttons. <laughs> me and Paige each have one. I'm going to name mine oh. Buzz Aldrin. So listen, if you know the answer, buzz. You can't just say that. You can't just say it. No. Okay, and we got some new, uh, new little topics here. We got a new uh, little board. Beth's been getting busy. Look at that board. It's huge. Nice. It's huge. Nice. nice. I feel like I'm on a legit game show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. All right. Now. We're... Get trivy. Get trivy. Get trivy. Get trivy. Oh, fuck me. Uh-huh. Get trivy. Get trivy. Get trivia. Oh, daddy's little spin angel. Oh, all right, ready? Everybody ready? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Yellow art. Yellow art. Here we go. For the first question of trivia. No, Come on, Brad. No, Come on, no, don't do okay. that. Um, Listeners just said no, 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 no. What famous painting by Vincent Van Gogh was painted while he was in a mental asylum? The night sky. Close. Oh. The night time. The night time. The close. Spade blank oh, night. The the what's we, in the, the weary sp- night. The starry night. Yes. Uh, so, uh, yes, ma'am. So the starry night. Okay. Never heard of it. Okay, ready? Pages turn. Here we go. Dude, how do you know the starry night? That's like the most famous yeah. painting in the world, besides Mona Lisa. All right. <laughs> Wikipedia facts. Wikipedia facts. Blue. Wikipedia facts. Blue for the second question of trivial. Rapper uh, Matthew Van Winkle is known professionally as blank. He's an- Vanilla Ice. Nice. Oh, dude. I'm sorry. Yeah, but it's yeah. You were right, but it's Robert Matthew Van Winkle. But yeah, you got it. Woo! So, yeah. Nice, dude. Yeah. Okay. I would have never known. I'm gonna roll on my birthday. Ready? Oh, you are. You. The wish came true. Sports red. Sports red. Sports, y'all sports, like sports red. Third question of trivia. 
in football, who passes or snaps the ball between his legs and begins the play? Who got the first buzz? Me? You can go. It's your birthday. Receiver? Incorrect. Who snaps the ball to the quarterback? What do you mean the fucking snapper? No. You don't call him that? No. What do you call them? Center. Oh, yeah, I knew that, the center. Why did I say the snapper? That's a turtle. (laughs) <laughs> I knew it was a sinner. Have you noticed the quarterback never goes under the legs anymore? I don't watch the, it. None of that. The balls. Yeah. Takes a couple steps back and then yeah. says, hey, go, go, go. Okay. Page turn. Here we go. Um, urban Dictionary, yellow. Urban Dictionary, urban yellow. Dictionary. Urban Dictionary, yellow. number four. Okay, I love Urban Dictionary. Um, The word is clam jam. Please. Do- pussy juice. Juice that comes from the pussy. Oh my. No. Okay. Clam jam? <laughs> you could sell that. Clam so jam? Please define and as a bonus, use it in a sentence. Okay. Page? <coughs> you know what? Repeat the fucking question. What's the, clam jam? The, yeah. Mm. Fuck, dude. I'm just going to say that it's um a pencil. You know, I'm going to take a guess. You know how they say um, that cheese is anal? What if it's like when you're doing intercourse with the vagina and it's, and it's the juice from that? I like that better than this. It's uh, the female version of a cock block. But I like yours. Wow. wow. Oh, I know. Damn, yeah. dude, I love that. that yeah. fucking... A clam jam. Okay, now I see where we're going with this category. That's cool. That was yeah. way cool. Yeah. That's clam good to know. Jam. A yeah. cock Ready? block. Cool. A couple more. Here we go. Previously asked questions. Previously asked question number five. What is the rarest blood type in the world? Double O. A, A, B, A, B positive or A, B negative or something. Yeah. Well, Brett, when, when we're guessing, you can't go. You <laughs> no. can't do your head up and down and no. Let us guess. Okay. One more. Here we go. Your turn. Hit it, shawty. Spelling. Spelling. Oh, fuck. Spelling. Um, okay. Spell the word scissors. S-C. Oh. S-C-I. S. Wait. S. Okay. O-R-S. Damn, dude, I am uh, high. I was going to say S-I-Z-Z-O-R-S, because that's how it should be spelled. Mm-hmm. Honestly, in the back of my head, I just kept thinking of somebody <laughs> saying, stop trying to clam jam me. <laughs> I'm trying to eat some pussy. Oh, <laughs> man. All right. There's the trivial thing. Dude, I love trivial. You I did too. good this Thank day. You. Thank on, you. On mm-hmm. this day, August 9th. What time that. were you born? Like 8 a.m. Dude, me too. I was born at 8.02. I was born uh, close to that, I think. Yeah, isn't that weird? You got to check on your birth certificate. Yeah. Okay. I was born at 3.02. I just seen it yesterday on my birth certificate. A.M. or P.M.? P.M. Whoa, you're a midday baby. A midday baby. Aww. 3.02. 3.02, 8.02. All right, you know what I think I'm ready for? Mm-hmm. Maggie, roll that beautiful bean footage. Hey, honey, little confession here. I just want to ask if you guys would be mad if somebody did this to you. I cook a lot and I make uh, like meal prep for my boyfriend when he goes to work over the weekend. And I was making a soup and I had one ingredient left and I was cutting carrots over the top of it. And I cut a peculiar big chunk of my finger and it landed in the soup so big to where. I have a huge indent on my finger to this day. Like, I don't even have a big, like, a fingerprint anymore. And, yeah, I couldn't find it in there. I, d- I know it was, you know, pretty big. But, uh, yeah, he ate it. I just didn't want to waste any food. Um, Yeah, I was just wondering if you guys would be mad if somebody did that to you. But, hey, uh, didn't want to start over. Love you, honeys. Hiya. Wow. Extra protein. Damn. 
Dude. Damn, that's rough. That's like some fucking Wendy's type beat. But I see what she means. If you're cooking, you've already done the chopping and it's all in the thing. Like, what's a little bit of extra meat? That's flesh. Oh, can you imagine just chewing on it and being like, oh, <laughs> this carrot didn't get soft. Or he's like, baby, uh, this hamburger's a bit a little chewy. Oh, a little t- <laughs> Can't, yeah, I can't get yeah. through it, and she's just thinking, "That's my fucking." Would y'all that's have my DNA? Or I I would. Fed it. Have. I've only fed one thing bad to somebody. What was it? The my whole class dropped the whole thing of cake batter on the ground when it was already wet. Just put it, scraped it back in the bowl. Dog hair, cat hair, and you name it. Baked it up, fed it to him. That's rough. But you know, when you're in sixth grade, you got to ex- or oh, yeah. younger, yeah. you got to expect homemade shit being a little. Rough. To me, it depends on how big the chunk was and who all was eating. If it was just like me cooking for, you know, I, I, Chelsea, she can't even unlock her fucking phone. She doesn't even have a thumbprint. Damn, she got a good. We, we're all about the limbless, but not feeding it to people. Yeah, not me. I would have said, hey, beware. Yeah. You can eat this on your own yes. terms, but my chunk of my finger is in oh there. My Would you be eating it? Oh God, <laughs> it's hard to. If if I'm in the if I'm in the kitchen cooking for like a two hours, <laughs> no, no, I can I can see where she's coming from on that. But I, if I left it in there, I would literally. If it was just me and Greg or something, I'd be like, "Listen, I lost a chunk. It's in there." <laughs> Greg would probably not give a fuck. He would no. want you to keep it and not throw People, away. <laughs> that whole thing of soup just because oh. there's a little bit of thumb in there <laughs> he would be <laughs> he pissed would. Yes. so but if i'm making dinner for all of us or something and something happens like i no i'd probably be like hey i let's go get pizza or something at least get mm-hmm. a strainer and try to dig through everything oh Damn, but, dude, but, but, but you can't juices. tell a potato from a, or a noodle from a little piece of and then the juices mm, oh gosh and then it's already like kind of marinated and in it, the blood. Mm. You know she was malt leaky in it. Malt leaky. And but if you're eating, if you're making a beef stew and you're eating cow flesh, what's the difference? I think of that often. Yeah. I mean, I know there's there's gonna be people out there that humans are. I get that. humans can fuck up your DNA and you can do this. But you know what I'm talking about? It's just a little thumb. Mm. You know what I did here? Like if you um, eat, let's say, a brain that it could. Like, make you smarter or something. Huh? What kind of brain? Like a monkey brain? Or? But obviously, don't do it. Yeah, let's not do that, guys. <laughs> Shield monkey brains. I heard this on another podcast. Whoa. I've never heard of that. It was actually very, like, a scientific... It wasn't some just, like, fucking yeah. weird... Uh, Mount Leakey Jeffrey podcast. Dahmer. Yeah. Like, oh, I want to yeah. eat yeah. some fucking brains. Yeah. No, this was very... Legit. Okay. That's Psychological. Interesting. Hey, I think it's cool that you called in and admitted that to us. That is cool. What did you do when you chopped off your finger? What was I cooking? I can't even remember what I was mm-hmm. chopping. I just, it, dude, I, it hurt so bad. I just, I literally chopped off like a fourth of my tip of my thumb. I just like bandaged it up and then continued cooking. Whatever I was cooking that got blood, I just threw all that away and, you know, just finished up. Finished up. And so, you ate it? Yeah, well, I threw away the parts that, like, I was chopping when I did my, you know, thumb. Maybe I was chopping You found it, your thumb? Oh, yeah. It was, it was right. on the cutting board. Yeah, it was yes. right there. Ooh, the nerves. Oh, it was, I thought my thumb wouldn't grow back, but it did, so. So, basically, just don't cut things over the pot. Get yeah. a cutting board and yeah. just be safe about it, because you don't want to keep doing that. Mm. And wear a cutting glove. Yeah. If the knives are that sharp, you're going to lose a thumbprint. Yeah, you're going to look like a nerd, you know, but hey, you know, your boyfriend's not going to be eating more flesh. Stop. So. Fuck, I'd be so mad. You would. Mm-hmm. You'd be mad. Here's the deal. It probably happens all the time. It literally happened at Wendy's in the chili. They found that yeah. finger. Yeah. Here's the deal. If I went to your house, page, and you cooked us dinner and you had a soup or whatever, if I ate it, and I'm being dead serious, if I ate it and it was good and I was like, oh, it was really good. And you're like, you enjoyed dinner? I'm like, yeah, it was great. And you legit were dead serious. And you told me, I cut my thumb, and so there's a piece of my thumb in there. I'd be like, oh, okay. Really? I don't think I would give a fuck. For real? Yeah. 
damn. Okay. I I definitely wouldn't be mad. It's probably some because you already there. enjoyed it. I already enjoyed it. Didn't know about it. Didn't know. You know. I, yeah. It's gotta happen all the time. I hear you know IKEA. You're eating horse cock and stuff what? for the meatballs. Let's look up the ingredients first before saying that. You know what sucks about being a stoner and having people come over? You can be like, hey, do you want some cereal? <laughs> Is there weed in it? Are you trying to trick? I've never heard that. Anybody oh. who comes over, I will offer them a granola bar. <laughs> Is it going to do something to me? No, dude. I'm not trying to just fucking give people unwanted weed. I'm trying to get weed. Right. Why would I be trying to sneak it to people? You're trying to give somebody a a granola bar. Let's chill. I know. It happens every time. Wow. This horse meat uh, was found in 2013 at Ikea. Uh, Not horse cock. (laughs) Well, how do we know? How how do we know how hard it was? (laughs) Horse meat. (laughs) How do we know? (laughs) <laughs> what if somebody's like, listen, I tasted it. I knew that was horse. Co- <laughs> my <laughs> sister told me she, my sister Dawn, I swear. She was like, it's, you're serving horse balls. At- and maybe I just, dude, horse balls. Hold on. Can you imagine going to Ikea on a regular basis and always getting those, uh, getting those meatballs every Sunday and you go one Sunday, Sunday and you're like, hmm, something's off here. That's horse cock. <laughs> That's 100% horse cock. <laughs> I feel bad. Save it for the lab. And then who do you go to? Um, I taste horse cock. Excuse me. Customer service. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. There's horse cock in this. <laughs> There's got to be it's got to be horse cock in here. There's horse cock in this meat. Dude, that's what I feel about the Reese's peanut butter cups. They Dead. taste like horse cock now. They're horrible now. Mm-hmm. They change up the recipe. They're not, I don't. I don't fuck with Reese's anymore. Me, I, dude, I don't even buy them. Oh, you know they can feel that too. The the company. Oh, they have to. They have to. They're modifying everything. Mm-hmm. 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 All right. Well, thank you for calling in. Wear a cut glove, honeys. Yes, be careful. <clears throat> with HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. This fall, you've got places to be, and standing in the checkout line is not one of them. You'll save so much time and cut out the hassle. You need to cutty. Parents have enough back-to-school shopping and planning to do already, so let HelloFresh get the groceries and save you some cash with pre-portioned meals delivered right to your door. A couple of my favorite meals have been the black bean and blue corn crunch burrito. And another one that is super tasty is the lemony spaghetti with Brussels sprouts. Don't call for food delivery. Get HelloFresh. It's 25% cheaper than takeout and less expensive than grocery shopping. HelloFresh saves me a bunch of time because then I don't have to sit there and figure out what a teaspoon and a tablespoon is. HelloFresh has pre-portioned ingredients so I can just toss it all together and they make it so simple. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 viral and use code 50 viral for 50% off plus free shipping. HelloFresh.com slash 50 viral and use code 50 viral for 50% off plus free shipping. America's number one meal kit. Hey, honey. Big Daddy Rockfucker here. I was just listening to one of your other podcasts about you guys uh, being in the uh, peep shows that remind me of time when I was in Germany. In the army, we went to Amsterdam. We went to one of these bars that had peep shows and I'm sure you've heard the stories of girls fucking donkeys. Well, this lady that was on stage, she come out and she had four ping pong balls. And they all had different colors. Red, blue, black, and green. Remember, red, blue, black, and green. And, you know, we're sitting around the stage and she comes around to the first gentleman and she shoves him up her pussy and dances around a little more and she asks the guy, what color would you like to see? And he says, blue. She pop, out comes the blue 
ping pong. Takes it, shoves it back up, dances around, goes over to some other guy. He asks for green. Well, there goes the green one. She shoves it back in. And she does this to just about all the guys at the stage. And she gets to me, and me being the smart ass that I am, I said, I want to see a white one. And wouldn't you know it, that bitch popped out a white one. <laughs> Never saw her put it in. I couldn't believe it myself. Have a good one. We got to book a flight to Amsterdam. <laughs> to go see some ping pong pussy tricks. Forget about those. Forget about that show in Vegas. With the No, we got to go see this. The colors. Sounds Dude. like a trick ball. Sounds like a deep cavity because. <laughs> Sounds like she's in there twirling balls in her, ca- in her pussy hole. She needs to have a <laughs> fucking bingo hole. <laughs> and then it's just her pussy popping out these balls. Oh, man, dude. Oh, that'd be awesome to see. Yeah. We got to go to Amsterdam. I've been wanting to go anyway. Me too. Dude. Yeah. Let's go. I'm not kidding, though. That bitch could make so much money if she did a bingo pussy haul and just pop those balls out. D47 mm-hmm. and then another pop. Mm-hmm. If yeah. I opened up a sex club, I would have things like that, games like that. Well, now my juices are flowing. Now we're thinking. Now we're thinking business-wise. I mean, she's already doing it, but there's nothing like that here. Yeah, I guess seeing colors is cool. It's like a magic trick. That is, I would be yeah. doing that for yeah. sure if I could do that skill. Mm-hmm. That's talent. How does she know? You don't know if you if you can't do it yet because you never tried it. You're right. I think saying. it's a trick ball. You are right. Should we try? Well, let's, okay, let's, let's put the fact aside that she's changing colors. Because obviously she's doing that somehow. Let's let's go more basic. She's sticking a ping ball in her pussy and popping it out. That's talent. Yeah. Yeah. Kegels. Right there. Because we could probably put it up there like in the opening and kind of push it out. But I'm talking like up there and to really get it to pop out. And those yeah. are so thin. How do they not just crumble? Break when you put it in there. They do make some kind of solid ones. Oh, they do? Mm-hmm. There are the cheap little dinky ones, but, you know, some good ping pong balls are pretty solid. I would like to try it. And she can probably just control it, the flow, you know? Yeah. We should vlog it. How? What if we can't get it out? We're just trying to... Oh, gosh. We have to go to the ER for that. Just call me. How'd you get this? Oh, sat down. It, <laughs> it was in my chair, my podcast chair. No, I was chair. walking across the floor and I tripped and it just went up there. Yeah. <laughs> like that guy with the plunger. Yeah. I call. <laughs> no, dude. Oh my gosh. We turn into one of our callers who has mm-hmm. who goes to the ER for stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's how it happens. And you know they're going to know. Oh yeah, and that's positive gaslighting. <laughs> and that's a positive gaslighting. <laughs> oh, now I know what right. that's talking about. My head just hit this. Right, just yeah. be careful. Just don't yeah. lean back too hard. Yeah. Ah. So with our new with our new stu- <laughs> What's he doing? Brad, are you okay? Never. He's gonna sue us. <laughs> Did you hit the shrimp? He'll be like two hundred. Oh, he, he's trying to get that two hundred and fifty <laughs> okay, somehow. He's gonna get it one way or the other. Uh-huh. Whether Sony pays him or whether he sues us. <laughs> or freaking future. Get a hold of future. Yeah, I need to contact him. So Brett, listen. With our new studio, the walls are closer up to you guys. So um, when you lean back, don't <laughs> lean back as far as you're used to leaning back. Just lean back half seats. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we need to put a pillow rest on the wall right there. So when he <laughs> leans back, it's just a cushion. Well, yeah, she got mad at me. Like, Quit hitting the wall with your head. Well, because Paige's yeah. camera is attached to the wall. Yeah. So if you, I feel you, bad. you can move it. Yeah. Just do better is all yeah. we're saying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's <laughs> always room to do better. Just That's all we're asking is just to do better, okay? You all right? Brett, you okay? All right. Okay. Verbally say yes. Yes. Who right. would be the first one to stick a ping pong puss or ping pong ball up their puss? I think any of us. I feel like you would go first. Oh, I'll do it. Let's go get some ping pongs. You promise you would do it. I would. I've always yeah. wanted to try it. Now, I'm not going to get it deep in there to touch my cervix, but I'll put it all the way in there in the opening and try to push it out. I wonder if we could shoot it. Let's try. Let's order some. If it doesn't come out, we could always get those um, little suction cup things yeah. and then stick it to the ping pong ball. Yeah. 
Yeah. Fish it out. I mean, I'm not going to stick five up there. No I'll colors? Do, I'll do one and to start with. Maybe do one white, no dyes and stuff on yeah. it. Yeah. How is she getting those colors out there? How does she know? Now that I don't know. I bet if we Google it, we'll find like mm-hmm. magic trick, you know. Russ told me when I first met Brett's parents and Russ is Brett's dad. He goes, yeah, I stick um, all the Tums up my ass. And I can um, know what color, like, he said he, like, pushes them out or something, and he can tell which color is coming out without even. No, he can taste it, what flavor it is. And Brett believed him. Well, it was so random. I'm like, why are you, <laughs> like, cool. Brett believed him! I know. <laughs> Brett, watch you do <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's awesome. I'm going to try that, too, I guess. Russ might then, be the coolest motherfucker I've <laughs> ever met in my life. Makes yeah. up so many stories. He's lying. Like, yeah, oh, he lied so much. I've never uh-huh. met anyone that lies more. Yep. Oh, gosh. But he's actually telling the truth. And the apple does not <laughs> fall, Wait. fall very far from Wait. that tree. Hold on. He does Hold on. Hold yeah. on. We just said, I've, I just said, I've never met anyone that lies more. And Brett said, but he's actually telling the truth. Yeah. What Did do you mean by that? stick him up his ass? It might seem like he's lying. A lot, but he's kind of telling the truth mostly. But that story that you trying to gaslight us right now—that's a lie. But I, I was like, man, that's made me think. Like, what else is he doing? Just, yeah, just so like random. What goes yeah. on in that head? Yeah. Oh, there's no telling. He's listening right now. Hey, Russ, Daddy. What goes on in everybody's head? Honestly, you're right. Because 70,000 thoughts a day oh. each human is having. Like, what do you think you think of most of the day? Well, you and I were just, as soon as we sat down to this desk, me and you were talking about how weird it is that we are able to speak and use words and you understand what I'm saying. Like, like how people speak to each other. There was a time when nobody was speaking and the first person just started making up words, and it just caught on, and now we're able to have languages. And even add words. Now we can say... Multi-Canadian. Multi- yeah. <laughs> How weird is that? That we can talk. I can't talk explain. Talk and understand and mm-hmm. just form a whole sentence, sentence and have emotions, and the way you even say something can mean... The way you say it can be told 150 fucking ways it's wild words are weird it's they can be weird. misconstrued yeah for sure yeah, yeah. you're right so about that choose them wisely mm-hmm. yeah. 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 Choose all right those words wisely choose them wisely Molly you, Kinetiki, baby dude especially in text that stuff's on there forever and ever forever yeah. ever yeah all right we're ready for that next call hit it hey honey um, I just have a question. So, usually after a long day, my balls get really itchy, and sometimes I scratch them too much. And now they fucking hurt, and they, like, burn. Does anybody else have this problem? Brett, you know, do your balls ever itch so bad you have to scratch them really hard? Sometimes I have to use a hairbrush to fucking scratch them, because them shits get really itchy. And now I'm sitting right now. And my balls hurt because I scratched them too hard. It's not a ass. Oh, yeah. I have never related to a collar more. Chelsea uses a fucking cheese grater. I use that on my feet. You, if you were a man. I know. Well, me now. Yeah, you With now. the balls. Because, dude, people, like, balls itch. Man, my pussy itches. And yeah. I, and I will take a fork to it. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah. And Beth gets mad at me. <laughs> Do you because guys ever do dude. the pinch and roll on the puss? Stop. I have. Pinch yeah. and roll. What's yeah. a pinch and roll? You just, you, just, it, you can't, yeah. you can't not... scratch it, so you'll just kind of pinch it and roll yeah, it. Yeah, the, the oh. sack is a good pinch and roll oh. area. No, if I ever what? have an itch out in public, I just try to rub it on my seat a little. Like, I'll just bend over when I don't have to, but just act like I do. Matter of fact, I had a, I had an itch the other day, and I took a fork to it, and it's raw, and it's been raw ever since. You got a little malt itchy? <laughs> you got a malt itchy. <laughs> you fall like a scab. 
and I, it's never oh. like it's never like the inside part of the vagina, but every once in a while it is. And I'll and if I've had like a long day, maybe the hair is growing out, maybe I'm sweaty, and it's just it needs a good fucking itch. My mm-hmm. nails aren't going to do it. I need something. I'll start with the hairbrush. Sometimes that's not enough. I will go get a fork, oh. and I will and I will scratch it. How about just like a head scratcher? That's a good idea. Well, yeah, that you can did. Help. What happened? Use one of those back scratcher, the long wood thing, uh-huh. on your asshole. Yeah. <laughs> and you Ooh. left it at my house. <laughs> Fuck, dude. I know. I'm always wary of what to grab around here. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm like, has this been on her She'll asshole? She'll pick things up and just like <laughs> scratch. No. Yeah. Usually, I have a des I have a designated fork because Beth made me get a little designated fork, which I understand. Can you write on it or something? Where's How it at? No. So How we don't do we grab know? it? I need to put a yeah, a little piece of tape around nice. it. Pussy um, fork. I'm good at kind of keeping things up, you know. I won't, yeah. So y'all are y'all are safe. Does the fork get crusty? Be honest. No. Do you, you wash it wash, or yeah. put it back? I wash it. Okay. Hand I wash, wash it very well. Yeah. I'll hand wash it very well and then I'll put it in the yeah. maybe dishwasher. a hand wash and dishwash. Like That's what I just up. said I did. Oh, sorry. That's what I just Where said. Where do you sorry. put it yeah. after? <laughs> <laughs> usually <laughs> usually back in because you kind of whispered. No, I didn't. <laughs> Does it go back in the fort, the silverware? Some, sometimes, drawer? but I have one up in my room now that I'm using. <laughs> oh, my. So it, I'm going to start bringing some of my own silverware in my pocket. No, it's fine. Okay. It yeah. ain't no different from a mouth. The only time I ever get a little, little itchy is when I um wear really tight undies. Mm. And then uh, at the end of the day... It's matted down my pubes because I have like four to five inches now of pubes, yeah. and it I have to just get in there and scratch. It feels yeah. like I just took my hair out of a ponytail from a yeah. long day. That's yeah. one thing that sucks about pubes. Yeah, the mat, the mat. So I know exactly what this caller is talking about. Sometimes you just need to take something to it, and sometimes, <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I will itch it raw. My pussy is raw right now. Brett, you scratched where it just gets raw? No, not that hard. Really? You, you don't ever take objects to it? Hairbrush, forks, anything like that? No. I well, just, you know. When I was um, in high school, I think I had athlete's foot is what it had to have been. I don't know. But when I got home from softball practice, my feet would itch so fucking bad yeah. that I would come home and take a butter knife to them and just <laughs> scrape them. What about Tenactin? Did you ever try that? What about spray? Gold Bomb? Just put some Gold Bomb in your shoe. Gold Bomb? <laughs> What's it called? We never had any of that shit. Gold Bomb. Oh, oh. we had a butter knife that we had. Holy so, shit. I know all about scratching. Yeah, my dad uh, scratches his back so hard on walls that like he, he'll he tear your wall up. Damn. That does not sound yeah. good, that your dad's going to tear your walls up. Let's get yeah. him a back scratcher for Christmas. He's got... They're yeah. not... Hard. <laughs> well, that was good. Do that again. Oh yeah, Alan. They're not hard enough. He like he wants dug into. He needs a big fork, a giant fork scratcher. They yes. have the metal ones. Yes, Ooh. it would fucking shred his back. I know. Shredder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have I told you that story? No. Sorry, dude. So many things are coming up in this what? pod. This the Nelson Pender. There's this dude. Uh, Nelson Pender from Utah, he murdered a bunch of people and he would drive around with the lion in the back of his truck oh, you back did in the me. day. Yes, I know. So yeah. his uh, nephew still lives in the town I grew up in. and Cool guy. Cool guy. Yeah. And I see him at the local bar and he looks at me and he goes, Shredder. And he does this thing with his hands like a Spider-Man action towards his face. And I was like, fuck, dude, that... That I don't know about that. What's, That's what, a little weird. What's what your uncle did, and then somebody looks at you and goes shredder. Well, it's like if your uncle did a bunch of murders, let's act normal. <laughs> and he's known for it, and everyone knows the family for this. Let's act normal well, in we public. We were partying with him at the bar, having a good time. You know. But this no, this is before that though. He goes shredder. So now every time I hear anything with shreds or whatever, I go shredder. That's shredder. Funny. That's funny. All right. Well, thank you for calling in, honeys. We oh. love you. Yeah. Love you. Love the itches. Love everything. Yeah. And um, just get you a designated fork. It's changed my life. Brett, when we first met, you used to say, can you please wake me up with scratching my balls really oh, hard? Oh, yeah. What? I used to love a really good 
ball scratch from her though, not myself. Like she just scrape them. I used to make Greg yeah. scratch my foot. One part of my foot that itched more than anything, I just popped my leg up, and he would literally, it wasn't good enough, so he'd have to go get a butter knife and just sit there and do <laughs> it. Butter knife. I'm not trusting any of this. I used to walk into Chelsea's room, and there would be like forks, spoons, butter knives <laughs> all by the bed. What the hell? That's fucking fun. Yeah. I'll, I'll start buying plastic cult- cult tree for y'all. Mm-hmm. Do that. I love this. So you feel cult-tree. safe. Cult tree. Yeah. All right, we're ready for that next call. Hit it. You guys know we love cooking, and it's actually hard to make a good meal when you don't have good, solid cookware. Ain't that the damn truth? Caraway cookware is non-toxic and chemical-free. People really don't think about this. A lot of the non-stick pans are highly toxic, and that's going straight to your food, on your food. I go through eggs like crazy. I eat eggs for breakfast, oh my gosh, at least at least five days a week. Eggs in a cast iron skillet or something like that, uh, not gonna cut it, okay? I don't want a big mess after my eggs. These caraway pans, a flawless egg and a flawless cleanup every time. It's like, um, what's that, like when something's satisfying, you know those, those Snapchats that are satisfying? Like cooking and cleaning an egg on me is so satisfying to me because it just slips off onto the plate don't miss caraway's summer refresh event from june 20th to july 15th for a limited time get 10 percent off site-wide on the internet's favorite kitchenware and it's the perfect time to take care of all your summer gifting newlyweds graduates everybody needs and wants cookware like this trust me caraway's non-stick chemical free ceramic coating makes for easy cooking and cleanup non-toxic kitchenware means food can be prepared with peace of mind all sets come equipped with complimentary easy access storage solutions to keep the kitchen tidy they also offer a bunch of different colors and i picked the sage green it's freaking cute that's the one i picked too so hop up on there and get yourself some good pans you deserve it visit carawayhome.com slash viral to get 10 percent off during their summer refresh event certain exclusions apply visit carawayhome.com slash viral to get 10 percent off their summer refresh event certain exclusions apply that's carawayhome.com slash viral or use code viral at check out caraway non-toxic cookware made modern hey honey just diagnosed with breast cancer here still trying to process everything um i'm 40 almost 41 um i've had a lot of health problems in my life and I decided that I do not want to pursue any type of treatment. Um, I lost my mom to cancer. My mom's sister had breast cancer, recently found out she had another type of cancer. And I'm just kind of tired of fighting all the time. So... Um, however, I have been told that I am selfish for not wanting to fight, and I was just wondering, do you guys think I'm selfish? Um, most people die from treatment, not from the actual cancer, and I'd rather just kind of go to hospice and you fucked up and high all the time and not know what's going on. So I don't know. I just kind of wanted your guys' opinion. Um, am I being selfish? I'm just tired of fighting, tired of always having something wrong with me. And um, just ready to be happy and in peace. So would love to know your opinion. Um, I live locally to you guys, so if I decide to have a uh, I'm kicking the bucket barbecue, I would love for you guys to show up. So just want to thank you for all that you do. I'm praying you guys take over the world before I leave it, and uh, you guys are awesome. Oh, yeah. Honeys, I love you so fucking much. 
Um, <clears throat> I love you as well. And, of course, we'll be at your party. Oh. We'll, but We'll be there. We'll bring the shrimp platter. We'll party. I'm sorry you're going through this. You've been dealt this. And my only thing is if I'm trying to put myself in, you know, a loved one that's close to you, to you your situation, and I think that if – you explain to them how you just explained in this call, I would have absolutely, I could never call you selfish. Exactly. I, I would never give you a problem or call you selfish, especially if you just said what you just said, like, you're tired of fighting, you've gone through a lot, you're ready to just go in peace, like, let's live out the last few years, few, what months, however long it is, and let's party and let's have a good time and let's just, yeah, I don't think you're selfish at all. And because you're the only one who is dealing with what you're going through at this time, like nobody else is going through these treatments, even though it does take a big toll on mm-hmm. your family too. And, you know, yeah. because you're loved by them and of course they want to do whatever they can or yeah, because they love you and they want you here. And, you know, so I just know firsthand from my sister just having cancer and my stepdad having cancer. Like, everybody is coming from every single fucking angle saying, do this, do this, do this treatment. And you're getting thrown so many things. It's just like, what do you do? Who do you trust? And so at the end of the day, it's like, it's really up to you. And Yeah. Agree. Yeah. Agree. I don't think you're selfish at all. Even if you explain it the way you did and they still feel that way, well, you know, then it's like, you know, that's, that's on them. They just love you. It's hard for them. It's so hard. And plus I'm on your side too about how most people do end up dying from like Mm -hmm. going through chemo or getting the treatments or, you know, because chemo takes a huge toll on you and it kills so many good cells in your body that, and So I'm all about holistic, but I've never been in your fucking shoes. And I don't even know what, if I got cancer, I don't know if I would fucking even do, you know, I say I would, but I don't know. Right. For sure. Agree. Um, honeys, I hope there is no party, but if there is, we're there. Yeah. I hope there is no fucking party and you're so sweet and you have such a pot. You seem so positive still and just. I yeah, mean, I wanna, just live out mm-hmm. each day as good as you can. Yeah, I want to hang either way, honestly. Mm-hmm. And we love you. Love you so fucking much. And we're going to take over the world and you're going to be here. Mm-hmm. And you've, you've helped us do that, so thank you so much, honeys. Can I say one more yeah. thing about... Okay. I never want to, like, give it out advice, but when my sister did get diagnosed with cancer, I will say the most messages I've ever had was RSO, the Rick Simpson oil, so... Anybody yeah. out there who is going through some pain or whatever, look into the Rick Simpson oil and maybe that could cure something for you. Yeah. Anxiety, whatever you have. For sure. Absolutely. And up the mushrooms too, probably. Uh, yeah, whatever. Stamets. Yeah, that's true. We, we've talked about we've been taking mushrooms. The um, Stamets 7. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, that's Paul. But smoke some weed. Smoke weed every day. Smoke weed every day. We love you, honeys. Love you. Hi, honeys. Ellie Rockfucker here. Just calling to say how much I fucking love you guys and how much you've made a difference in my life and the life that I have with my friends, the conversations that I bring up with my boyfriend. Amazing. Ten, love you. Big dick energy. I love that y'all talk about masturbation, how old you were, kind of when you guys discovered it, figured it out. I know that Paige is kind of a lot older, and it got me thinking. I have totally forgot when I was, like, probably 12 years old when I got my first, like, flip phone. It was one of those really old ones. It flip open, you have a keyboard. I would straight up, I would straight up put my clit in between my phone and clamp my phone on my clit and then just use my house phone to call my cell phone so it would vibrate on my clit that was smashed in between it and that's how I learned how to masturbate uh that was my first vibrate so uh thank you ladies so much for what you do I appreciate you with all my heart oh, 
Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Dude. She had some house held objects and you gotta made do, it work. You got to do what you got to do and you got to use what, you know, whatever's laying around the house. What's well, given to you. You know? Yeah. Wow. Well, that makes me happy that you are more open with your discussions and, you know, we, I, we hear that a lot about this pod and that's great. Mm-hmm. You know, if that's how you, yeah. Making people come out of their shell a little. And everyone masturbates. Lord Jesus. I, you know, ex- I've, we've, we've talked about this before, especially women. Like, you know, we're kind of, especially from young, like we don't, something we don't talk about it. We don't do that. No, everybody's doing it. We nothing here, nothing there, nothing everywhere. I'm nothing everywhere. Oh, I'm not going to lie though. When my friends used to stay the night when, when we were younger, me and Rachel, we would put our phones on, on their, um, crotches and shit well hmm. and i shouldn't tell the the story well no (laughs) it was like more it was like more of a prank like we'd all fucking do it together if you're the first one falling asleep you're getting a fucking phone on your pussy and we're calling it oh to wake them up with a vibration yeah (laughs) that's great i'd be the first one to sleep every fucking night (laughs) i'd be like hey guys going to bed (laughs) i'm going to (laughs) and you announce it every time you don't even (laughs) three seconds into hit (laughs) looking around like (laughs) Waiting for the phone. Damn. And then you just act like you're asleep the whole time. Even we're like, wake up. I just let it vibrate. Let it, let y'all keep calling and calling. (laughs) Stop. That's awesome. That's That's awesome. Fucking wild. Man, I did. I I bet you Nokia didn't realize they were also making click clamps. (laughs) Click clamps. Click clamps, dude. That's fucking out of control. Click clamps. I don't know how many boyfriends were doing that. Maybe calling. Hey, can you call me? It wasn't no phone sex thing. No. No. Good idea, though. Well, thank you for calling in, honeys. <laughs> your mom's just checking the, the phone line. Why'd you call your phone <laughs> from here like 400 million times? Why is the phone bill $800? <laughs> oh, I don't know. That's weird. You were calling yourself <laughs> Let 40 me... times in a row. Oh, I must have butt dialed. <laughs> it's a flip see. phone. Let me see your phone. She's looking at it. She's like, it smells like pussy. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, that was good. Dude, oh, man, we are really disgust. Good. Imagine oh. listening to this podcast. Oh, I-, I can't believe people listen. I would already turned off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I wouldn't have. No. This would be my favorite fucking podcast. I do listen to it. That's well, so you, dumb. you do. You listen to every, you listen to every week. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll listen here and there whenever I, yeah, if I have time, I'm like, let me put it on. Just cause, and I forget what we talk about. I know. That's the, why I have to listen. I will, I will have people. There's been times where we've repeated ourselves. People are like, y'all, y'all talked about that two podcasts. And I'm like, I don't remember. You told that story. I'm like, don't remember. Mm-hmm. Um, I've had people come up to me and do you remember episode 72 where you said, I'm like, I don't have no don't clue. Don't do that to us. That I will have get no, you. I've got no clue what you're talking about, but it sounds good. I believe you. I can usually remember a little bit, yeah. but you deal, you were on tour and Dylan and meeting like a gazillion people. Yeah. I'm not going through all that too. So yeah, I just forget what I talk about on this podcast. Sometimes I'll be, um, sleepy because you know we're just all humans and sometimes you don't i don't know we just have emotions and i'll go on youtube and somebody will be like his page okay or like they are so they read so into it and i'm like you guys like let a girl be tired sometimes Mm -hmm. you know malt sleepy (laughs) 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 you could say malt for anything what brett i just hit the shrimp with my head Brett, be careful and do better. Damn. Sorry. Get a helmet. <laughs> Next time Brett is on, he's helmet. wearing a helmet with a backstop on the back. And it says lean back. Lean with back. With a pole. Yes. <laughs> a rod. Rodney a rod. Stewart. A rod. Rod Stewart. Ah. I've Shocker. never touched this wall. I don't understand why you keep hitting it. Well, laughed. he's used to leaning. He's we throwing also, himself yeah. back. We tell him mm-hmm. to lean back a lot. So, yeah. he, you know. The he, motion sticks. It's like riding a bike. Yeah. Just be careful, okay? Okay. Will you promise not to sue us? Yeah. Okay. Promise. Got that on camera. All right. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. <laughs> we got you. All right. We're ready for that next call. Malt Nikki Nadiki. Hey, honey. So I'm calling in from the car. Okay. And I just need your advice on something. How would you feel if you've been at a job for over two years and um, you learned everything 
pretty much in the job and um there's a lady that's been there for like 11 years and um she's in a different office but it's the same kind of company and you both go up for a manager job and she gets it over you when you've learned everything in two years to help the company out when you didn't have to and they pick her over you and she runs late to work um she messes up on things and then the boss has to look at you and ask you questions because the main boss don't even know the questions um i mean i guess it kind of just hurt my feelings um uh, and i don't think that i can go on with a job what your advice. Thanks. Oh, that's... Oh, wow. This is tricky. <laughs> that's rough. So she's been at the job two years. <clears throat> knows everything. Knows how to do it. Probably, she, in her opinion, was the best candidate for the for the job, for the promotion. Oh, she's top tier. But a girl that's been there for 11 years got it. But the, the girl that is there 11 years doesn't know how to do the job, shows up late to work, etc. Ooh. I mean, we said it's all about who you fucking know. 11-year-old girl's probably in it, and she knows she can be lazy, and it's all part yeah. of it. Like, that happens a lot of times. Sorority. Sen- yeah. Seniority. Oh, what did I say? So, your thing is sorority sisters. Yes. Oh, I didn't mean to say that. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, that, that would suck, for sure. I'm, I'm 50, I see both sides. I'm like, damn, she has been there 11 years, but yeah, she... You know, that would suck if she doesn't know how to do the job and she's taking it half-assed. Mm-hmm. If you, if your feelings are hurt and you're like, I, this is not a place I want to work, then don't. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. if you, if, if it's in your gut that you're like, man, I, I'm not respected here, I should leave, then, I, then you should. Because it does suck if your work is not being noticed, really, even though it's like, whatever, but if you are doing a lot more than the 11 the chick who's been there 11 years then yeah it does suck because ooh, it's like mm-hmm. being on a basketball team and the shittiest players starting over you yeah because they're let's say their dad's the coach that's that's just about to say <laughs> dad's the coach so they get to start but you're but you know yeah it could be that situation or maybe maybe she's doing stuff that you don't, don't know. know about yeah you don't, you know, mm-hmm. you don't know her story either, so. Yeah. That could be something else. If it were me, I would just, I mean, I would test it out a little longer, see how the new situation's going. And if you still feel like, man, I, I could, I could go higher in another place and be more respected, then you should do that. For sure. Yeah. I'm not really the type of person who'd be like, hey, uh, I've, I catch on a lot quicker than Samantha. Yeah. I deserve to be, I couldn't do that. So I would, personally, I would dip. You would go confront the boss and say, hey, I've been doing better than her who's been here for 11 years. Or how would you go about it? I wouldn't do that after because the the deed's done. But I would definitely, like, in my interview or something, you know, but he also, she also probably doesn't know who else was up again. I don't know. But I would probably be like, listen, I know I've only been here two years, but I, this, this, you know. I think it was probably all about the interview is, you know. Could have been. I don't know. If I felt like it was absolutely ridiculous and I felt like I'm completely disrespected to this job, then I would leave after that. That's what I was saying. Like, if you're in the job, would Mm -hmm. you bring it up at all? You wouldn't. No. Okay, that's what I was saying. No. Yeah, I wouldn't bring it up, I would say. Yeah. Peace. Yeah, but if you feel like there's definitely room to grow there still in a different area or whatever, then I would keep it out. I would keep, you know, suck it up. Switch departments. But... It just sucks. You know, I get that. It sucks. That sucks, dude. So, yeah. It kind of seems like she has value, maybe. Yeah. So she should just be fake sick for like a month and see how the company does without her. True. Or she's so good at the job she does, he do- he doesn't want her, you know, not doing that department. Not doing, you know, which could be. Yeah, they could be like, playing her like, oh, she's doing all this work and we don't even have to pay her as mm-hmm. much. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, that's going to happen anywhere you go. Yep. Yes. So just, I would stick it out. We're all getting played. Let her fuck up or whatever, and maybe she yep. can move up later. Yep. Because most places, anywhere you go, the person that's been there the way longest, 
more than not is going to get the job. Right. So instead of going job to job to job where you're not happy because of that, stick one out and you be the one that is there. Right. You know? 11 years. Yeah. Because yeah. on a resume, too, if you're going from job to job to job, that's not looking good. Right. They usually, what, like you somewhere like six, at least over six months. Yeah. And that's pushing it. Damn, I'm sorry, honeys. That's tough. But also working with lazy motherfuckers. Oh, oh, I would be pissed off every day. I would have to get the hell out of there. I would be livid. That's everywhere. Like Maggie said, that is literally every job. Every single you're job. Wo- you're going to work with someone that doesn't work as hard as you, that doesn't have the same work ethic, that doesn't, that, that is every, that's every fucking job I've had. I've been pretty blessed with, they would like usually catch up on it at the places I worked and would fire the, those people. Damn. Yeah. Like. Mm. We can replace you. Yeah. Damn. It, like, if you got time to lean, you got time to clean work environment. You got time to lean, you got time to clean. Oh, nothing pisses me off hearing that. I've I don't that. Miss... We've heard that a few times. Oh, oh God. God. I don't miss those days. Uh-uh. Oh. No. Actually, do I miss working at Sonic. We've talked about this. Mm-hmm. We've talked about this. We have. We but wanna... even us still being here and, like, working for ourselves, technically, we still get played. Like, we... You know, we are still making money and have freaking deals, whatever. Like, everyone's getting played. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, honey's played here. (laughs) We're players. Brett, you okay? Yeah. He's the puffer fish today. Brett, you all right? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) I was trying to find a good uh, sound bite just now, but couldn't pick one. Okay. Well, thank you for calling in, honeys. Wish you all the best of luck in your career. Earth control. Wow. Did you ever get your birth control taken out? No, I need, oh, I need to go do that. Damn. I'm asking you like I like I haven't been to the gyno. And no, fucking... not yet. I want to go do that. Hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you for calling in, honeys. <clears throat> Who wants better sex? Me, me, me. You do. Who wants better nuts? Me, me, me. The best way to get started is to go to adamandeve.com. Adamandeve.com is offering 50% off just about any one item plus free shipping, which includes rush processing. So if you're in the need for a fast, quick nut, guess what? They got you. And it doesn't even have to just be a nut. If you want to stretch your asshole, if you would like to get your clit numb, Adam and Eve has so many different items to satisfy your needs. Don't wait. It's just a click away. Bring more pleasure and satisfaction into your bedroom. Just go to adamandeve.com and select any one item. It could be an adventurous new toy or anything you desire. You know, you want a nut or do you want a nut harder? And there's more than that. Adam and Eve want to make your life easy. They offer discreet shipping as your privacy is a priority. Plus 100% free shipping with rush processing on your entire order you just can't beat it just enter code offer viral at checkout that's viral v-i-r-a-l at adamandeve.com this is exclusive offer specific to this podcast so be sure to use this code viral to get your discount 100 free shipping and get it fast with rush shipping code viral oh yeah hi honey a motherfucking pissed off motherfucking bitch right here. This blame ass, bitch ass, motherfucking bitch. Bitch, I have sucked over probably 650 dicks in my life. Deep throat, throat goat here. Hashtag throat goat, mom from Kim Tetris. And he just told me to motherfucking leave. As I'm butt ass naked, dodo in my ass, dick down my, deep in my throat, nine inches. And he said, I'm not into it. He, done. And I said, what the motherfuck? You're not into it? Because this motherfucker wouldn't let me touch his nipples. What Body contact, bitch. And he says he's a great kisser. Girl, I kissed them lips. They were nothing. There was no tongue, nothing. I freaking, he bit my lip too much hard. I like a little bite, but too hard. And this bitch told me to motherfucking go. As he's deep in me with a dodo in my ass. I was ready. I was ready to go. Cleaned out, prepped out. And he's going to tell me to motherfucking leave when he's the boring ass one. Because he won't let me touch his nipples, his legs. Oh, this bitch. But anyways, pissed off about that. So now I think I'm going to climb a wall and try to shove it in my own mouth. Because I need a dick in my throat right now. 
But anyways, love y'all. I listen to you at work all motherfucking day. I had my vice president ask me at my job what I was listening to because you had me dying. I was in tears crying down the hallway. And they're like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, just listen to the Bible podcast. Hit it up. You know, I hope he does it because I might be fired because, you know, rock motherfucking he is. So I just want to let you know because I'm motherfucking pissed off. I need a dick in my throat. Like, now I can have a dick in my ass because she's open and ready. Like, girl, no complaints ever before. No complaints. I normally make people come in, like, 30 seconds to the throat, but he had an issue with it. Whatever. All right. Love you. Hi. I've never met someone that loves sucking dick more than this guy right here. Love I know. sucking dick. And how hey. are you going to say... How are you going to say you're not into it when your dick's already nine inches deep down his throat? <laughs> that, that's what he's pissed about. No, yeah, you're in it. <laughs> that's what he's mad about. He was already naked, nine inches down, and the guy said, he, he, he felt offended. He's like, I can make him come in 30 seconds, and this motherfucker's not into it. How could you not be into it? It's a dick. If you can, this guy loves dick more than anybody. Yeah. And you're going to say no? What is this guy working with? He just, what he just, I don't know. Maybe his thoughts were elsewhere. Vibes were off. Vibes were off. Yeah, this guy's not happy. The fact that his butthole's already prepped, cleaned out, and open. I've never, and I just learned that, that men and women, it's not just a gay thing. Men and women will clean out getting ready for anal. I've never done that. Oh, yeah. For anal. They mm-hmm. uh, douche. I've never. Or whatever. I mean, I'll go, if I know I'm doing it, I'll try to take a shit, you know? Mm-hmm. But they, it's a whole day prep. To the, I've never done that. So uh-uh. I can barely prep for meals trying to prep my fucking <laughs> asshole for anal. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Oh, my God. Yeah, you're more spontaneous. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm a more spontaneous you never know what's ass gal. Happen. Honey, I'm sorry this happened to you. Just know. That out of the 650 dicks you've sucked, that this has only happened once. That's a good sign. That's a good percentage. That Oh, the percentages are... Through the roof. Through the roof. In terms of... Through the know, throat. Through the throat. Out your ass. So, you know, if you get one guy that's not into it out of every 650, I'd say you're doing pretty good. Don't let that bring you down. No. You know, it can, it's the same thing goes with comments. We'll get 650 good comments. That one fucking rude comment will stick out. Don't let it get to you. That's a good analogy. Thank you. That's great. Cause you're right. Mm-hmm. Don't let it get you down. Get another nine inches down the throat. We're all just a little too hard on ourselves. Just shake that one off. Yeah. I Give agree. your throat a rest. Maybe, how long does your asshole stay prepped for? Well, maybe drink some hot tea. Yeah. You know, get yourself some throat coat. That's a real mm-hmm. tea. Throat coat for that throat goat. And, um, you know, just rest up for a bit. Take some time for yourself and then get back out there. Hum. Don't talk. Just yeah. spend maybe, some time by yourself. Maybe carry a notepad with you and just write down when you need to talk. You know, give your throat a rest. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> give your throat a rest. And also, <sighs> um, maybe even your asshole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would love seeing that. A dildo in the ass when you're like DJ. Fuck. Anything's possible. Yeah. I'm say he'd lose it pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe for your birthday, Brett. Let us know if you do that. We will. He, how long does the asshole stay prepped for? I don't, now that I don't know. We'll just stick a dildo in there and you can start sucking. Until get, I, 12 until, hour until you got another until, shit? Yeah, until you got a shit again or something. Because he's like, oh, my asshole's already prepped. I got to go, I need a dick now. Like he, He's got some it, hours to go find someone for sure. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, forty-eight hours prepped and pl- prepped and something that yeah. needs to be a TV show. Stop. And he's looking for dick. A porn parody. Mm-hmm. Forty-eight hours prepped and ready. Prepped, ready and open. Prepped, prepped ready, ready and how open. How do you suck dick? Mm, let's hear it again. How do you suck dick? Mm, how do you suck dick? First call. Yeah, because we haven't really played our new sound bites in the new studio. We haven't. We're still working on jingles for the new. Um, the new segment so keep please get bear with us we've been busy we're filming tammy bangs this week we're very you know we're we're working on it and they're gonna be like but you guys just took a two-week break well that's what it was a break but yeah you know we we don't work on break well yeah so anyway um love you honeys wish you all the best with your endeavors 
I'm mm-hmm. being serious. Oh, yeah. Future's so bright. Love you. Love you, honeys. Hey, honeys. Irritated here. So my neighbors have already have like three or four dogs, and they bark non-fucking stop. My wife already went over there and, you know, spoke to them about that, and nothing's really changed. But now, one of those dogs have had, like, four or five puppies. Well, I noticed when we were dragging the trash can to the road from our backyard or when I parked and my dog jumped out of the car or just walking to my own yard, there's fucking dog turds everywhere. So this is the fourth time that I've had to go outside with my own pooper scooper and pick their fucking dog turds up, and I've swung them into their yard. So, you know, today I've had, like, the final fucking stall. So I was going to go there and say something to that bitch. But she wasn't home. So I made sure the ring camera could see me. I made eye contact with it. And I dumped, like, 50 fucking turds right there in a pile, right in front of the camera. Shook my head and walked off. I'm getting ready to write a fucking letter and say, I'm going to charge $50, $50 per dog turd. I don't give a fuck if it's a dingleberry. I will be out there with tweezers taking that shit out of the yard. And I'm going to start keeping a log of all this. I'm going to take pictures. I'm going to write the times the day that I found this shit, and I'm going to start charging this bitch, because if you can't control your dog's bowels in their own some yard, then maybe let them shit in your backyard. Like, what are you even doing shit in the front yard anyway? You have them on a leash. There's like four or five of them. They're little bitty puppies. You have them on a leash, and she just walks them to what, my yard and just let them shit right there? <sighs> y'all, like, what do I do? What would y'all do? I can't do it no more. I'm tired of all these dog turds. Ooh. I already have a dog, and I already have to pick up his turds. I'm not picking up other people's turds, you know? Anyways, oh, yeah. Oh, my Can you imagine your neighbor bringing you a bill for dog turds? This girl is the girl that has time to do anal prepping. Yeah. Nobody else. If you're doing logs. But here's the no. deal. Don't let your fucking dog shit in other people's yards. And if they do, you go fucking pick it up yourself. Try to keep your dogs actually out of their yard. Just if you have your own, I mean. I mean, if I was her, I'd probably be pissed too. Oh, yeah. Extra turds, unwanted extra fucking turds from another dog. And take care, you have to take care of what you, of what you own and what you have. For sure. And for me, for me personally, it wouldn't even be truly about the dog turds. It would be the principle of the fact that you are not cleaning up after your dog in my yard. That would be what I'm pissed about. It wouldn't be physically seeing the turds. No. It would be, come on. Well, even that, the the whole thing is out of control. Janet Jackson's dog pit pooped in my aunt's yard all the time. and She never cleaned my it? My aunt called her up and said, come clean up your dog turds. Did she? She sent somebody over. But they cleaned it. Yeah. So, all, that, even that's fucked up, like... Control your dogs. I'd, I'd have a problem. I would just I would just literally say, please, like, come on. You know what you're doing. Either they're on a leash, don't let them go in my yard, and if they happen to do it, clean up their shit. She said that they're all little dogs on leashes, right? Yeah. So she's purposely walking them in to just shit on her yard. That's insane. That's, I'd be, yeah, that's the thing that gets me. I'd be pissed. No, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. I'd be pissed. And even when you do pick it up, you're still leaving freaking shit particles everywhere. Uh huh. Maybe that's where she likes to zen out and lay in the grass. Dude, she walked over there and dumped the shit in front of the ring camera. That's something I'd do if I was fed up. Yeah. That's extra fed up. She yeah. hasn't even talked to him yet and just left 50 turds <laughs> in front of the ring camera. They saw her dumping it. Oh man, yeah. Go talk, dude. Yeah, I'd I'd, I'd get pissed too. Give her a chance. Go talk to her and yeah. say, "Hey, there's a bunch of malt leakies in the grass." <laughs> <laughs> malt and I, leakies. And I see your fucking dog. Yeah. I, I see you on there. Say it's just a really an inconvenience because yeah, I'm the one picking it up. It's my lawn. You know, For I would real. just just say this to her, yep. and then if if she doesn't. Like stop it, then what? I just start leaving the turds on the hood of a car. On I have a good solution. Go Jerry ahead. did it. What? You remember him saying some uh, dog was shitting on his yard? And, oh yeah. Yeah. You want to say it? Go ahead. Go. Brett. Oh, you took a video of it and just sent it, text it to the guy, and then the guy came over and picked it up. Well, that's he, kind of yeah. brilliant, you know. Just he just sent the ring footage to his camera and didn't 
from the camera, sent it to his neighbor, and didn't say anything. Yeah. It's just a video of the dog coming up and shitting right That's by funny. Jerry's door. That's funny. And then I was like, Jerry, what did your neighbor say? He's like, oh, he didn't say anything. He just came and cleaned it up. Fucking, that's a weird one. <laughs> I would I could clean it up and be like, hey, sorry, man. You know, or something. Just Cleaned it. the shit's gone. That's funny. These dogs just be shitting in neighbors' yards. This is Why a problem everywhere, though. Why not their own? That's what's weird. I get sometimes a dog can just run over and freaking leave doo doo in the yard, but this is a lot. Yeah. I would uh, say something. God, good luck with the whole thing, honeys. I d- I would definitely be up in arms too. So, love ya. This is the last call. Oh, it's the last call, right? All right, hit. Hi, honey. Actual literal rock fucker here. Um, I was just listening to the podcast, uh, like I always do, and all of a sudden I had an epiphany that I am a literal rock fucker. When I was like eight and my cousin was like 11, she was teaching me all about sex, and then we just used to hump everything. Well, her mom had this like rock that she used as like a doorway to hold the door open, and it had a pointy edge, so we used to take turns going into the bathroom and shutting the door and we would hump the rock. So I've been listening since day one. I'm an OG rock fucker. And all of a sudden I just realized, holy shit, I'm a literal rock fucker. I lost my virginity to a rock fucker. I am the OG rock fucker. But yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that. I I couldn't believe it when it came to me. Uh, Anyways, love your honeys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm so happy that came to your head one day. That stuff I did as a kid oh, would, would yeah. hump household items. Y'all know that. Mm-hmm. But the fact that you've actually fucked a rock. And just remembered. Is great. That pointy edge. Hmm. It got you. Wait, that should be a sound bite. It had a pointy edge. It had a pointy edge. I mean, you, you couldn't have found anything better. Well. Well, if you're a rock fucker. She's that's, a she's a at heart. That's rock your fucker. that's in your DNA. You're so, born. Yeah, I love that wow. you came to that realization, honeys, and thank you for calling in and telling us that day made birthday made. That's mm. so cool that they're just fucking a rock. Lots of people do it. I just used to roll rolling balls into my crotch and stuff. Yeah. Damn, we're dumb. Oh, I've done the dumb, and I still do dumb shit. Yeah, we're planning ping pongs to go up there any minute. <laughs> We're going to hold a top-tier tang and smell each other's dirty pussies. Or someone's going to smell it. I don't want to be a smeller. We do need smellers, though. I think we have a couple locked down. Mm -hmm. But we are adults, and we do this. You're wearing a freaking sash right now, or whatever it's called. And my tits are tucked. Tucked. Well, it's my birthday. Tucked up. Um, Can I bring it back one second? Did that chick say she's going to charge people for the poop in the lawn? That's what I just said. She's going to bring her neighbor a bill. I know, but like, how's she going to come up with the pricing? She said $50 a turd. But. Do business. The idea is funny, but your neighbor's never. Can you imagine? Like, the neighbor's not going to pay that. But you. you what know. if she did? She just. <laughs> ben Moser. She's just that like, fucking lazy. It's a new business idea. That's great. <laughs> That's great. Holy shit. Wow. Like we'll call you to you know, get rid of the turd. You okay, Brett? You know, they'll call us to get you know, handle it. Oh, anyway, we're true. the middle guy. All anyway. right. Well, what a wonderful podcast. Yes, thank you all so much for being here and celebrating um, Chelsea Lynn, a.k.a. Trailer Trash Tammy's birthday here with us today in this viral podcast studio. I'm 37 today. <laughs> Brett, why'd you Are do you that? really? Are you get- no, no, I'm 36, Brett. God. What year were you born? She was a- born in 87. 87. See, I knew that. Do that math, Brett. Please. Yeah. What if you Still, were 37? Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do the math? Yeah. Okay. Is it, is it 36? Is it adding up? Uh, 36. Yes. Okay. That's wow. so funny you that you just, sometimes I even forget my age and I'm mm-hmm. still in my 20s. Mm-hmm. It gets worse Late. when you get in your 30s. Every year I'm like, yeah, it's a thing. So, I can't wait till your fortieth. Aw, let's slow down. Okay. 
You're All right. right. Well, we love you guys. Love you so much. Don't forget to check out our monthly merch drops at theviralpodcast.co. And don't forget to call us in and ask us whatever you want to ask us. Or or spill your guts. Tell us something that you've done. Spill your guts if you've chopped off a fucking another lamb and got what? it in food. Love to hear that. Oh, dude. Okay. And give us a call at 442 3331 And always remember that you are doing great. You are looking good. And, and fuck, fuck what everybody, everybody else thinks. Get ready. ready. We're going viral. Get ready. We're going viral. Oh. Woo! Oh. Whoa. Happy oh. birthday to me. Happy birthday.